and that'll get fixed eventually. Hopefully it's nothing like a month wait from the parts for Ag Pro for that thing. Two and a half weeks is pushing it. Three and a half weeks? Yep, we're getting antsy. So it's never a good day when you have broken things on the farm um, that hinder uh, you from completing your task. Like we're right in the middle of planting soybeans. Didn't even get started planting soybeans. <clears throat> and the uh, Wheel seal on the John Deere 7800 decides it's going to start leaking. Why? Um, we don't know. We changed everything, changed the planetaries, changed the center axle, and it is no mucho good. Yeah, it is broken. So, we're going to clean that all up. Again, um, this one over here is as dry as a bone, but Ag Pro might have to upgrade that one, or actually both of them, like the John Deere 7200. Now, this one over here, I did not plan on parking them this way. Uh, this one over here is still nice and dry, okay? Not showing any signs of leaking dry it's just this one is broken i think i remember scott randall telling me when he was out here working on the 7810 i want to say that that tractor belonged to the owner of mac trailers uh mike connie I am not 100% sure, but I could be wrong, like I am about everything. Yeah, this tractor was Mike's tractor because um, we, were, we were talking about the front weights, how they are not John Deere weights um, compared to what the 7800 has. I think, nope, nope, nope. I do know that these are all of our tractor weights. Why he didn't put John Deere front weights on it, I have no clue. But it's been a good tractor and will continue to be a good tractor. You always need a spare on the farm. The original planting tractor is back doing its duty um with the john deere 1590 grain drill it's a good combination is the john deere saint 200 this tractor was our first cabbed john deere tractor on the farm we had an old uh tired well i wouldn't necessarily call it tired um more or less underpowered international 1086 i think it was only 130 at the horsepower at the time uh that came out of a junkyard um 
1086 was all there but it just needed a lot of cosmetic work we had a 2745 massey before that with a perkins in it and that thing was a dog it would not get out of its own way for nothing um i think that left about the time the sandy six showed up back early 2000 and uh it was i think it was this in the 1086 at the time and then the rest of the tracks we currently have so this done all the uh planting the mowing mowing hay brush hogging and um we had a souk up grain drive I believe that's how you pronounce it s-u-k-u-p souk up suck up however you pronounce it it was a marless 15 foot drill same thing as this but it had uh the no two quarters in the front so you're talking it stuck out about this much further and then the hitch was a little bit further forward um it was basically this tractor done everything and then we got the shaving sprayer no no we got rid of the 1086 when we decided to buy the 7800 okay so the 7800 um replaced the 1086 we had uh 1086 was two-wheel drive 7800 is front four-wheel drive um then we used that as our ground working tractor we bought the shaven sprayer with the chevy fertilizer truck um so we're, we're like what are we gonna make for a dedicated sprayer tractor well pete's like how about the 7200 well okay so what are we gonna do while the 7800 is working ground what, what are we gonna use for a haymaking tractor because this will be tied up all the time well that is when we bought a 1999 7010 that you currently see on the farm um to do all of our all our ground work and tractor the 7200 or 7800 excuse me mows hay and um runs a grain cart in the fall time and we kind of had to move things around since the 7800 is down we tried planting with the john deere 6120 but it does not have constant flow for hydraulics uh, for the down pressure to run the drill for the down pressure on the openers um 6120 showed up in 2019 or 2020 it was before covid i do remember remember, remember that um from mass tractor um, out in waynesburg i uh, showed up with 300 hours on it that's our hay moving tractor and uh hay ted and tractor and raking tractor um basically a chore tractor uh, is what we have bought it for moving uh them seat them uh, soybean totes around and um things like that it's a very very all of our tractors are very very valuable on the farm and uh it's just a matter of shuffling equipment around to make things work like this one i don't know how you can tell it is set up for the sprayer it's got all the monitors and everything bolted in the cab with uh wires plugs and everything um right here with this cluster of wires so this is the dedicated sprayer tractor um and the 6120 plants corn so i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video uh, thanks for watching i guess the disc is more broken than i thought i'm surprised nobody caught that uh all thread came right out of the cylinder um That is not supposed to be like that.
that is supposed to be into the cylinder. Huh. More broken stuff to fix. Had to kind of move stuff around, but eh, it's all right. You move stuff around to make things work. <laughs> 